Alright, I'm gonna do the test burn now. I have one stove pipe on, so it's uh, just above the rear there. Might have to grab another one, but I think based on this design, it shouldn't need that much pipe to draw. I have a couple little, uh, maybe I can zoom in while I. Just some uh, scrap uh, pressed wood from actually from doing the form and a little bit of <laughs> dirty paper towel. So, this stuff, a little bit of paper towel just for this test burn. I might, if I get excited, I might go cut some stuff while this is burning and throw some more in. But for right now, we'll try this. I've only seen these lit a couple times. As I recall, I used some crumpled up paper. Okay, I'm going to have to do this really quick because the damn batteries on this camera are going to dead. I need a new camera with better batteries. Hopefully I can capture this. Find my freaking lighter. There we go. Come on. Okay. <laughs> it's working. I get this. If I can get this wood lit before it goes out. Shit. It's actually drawing really well. A little tape. A little bit of cloth here I found. Maybe that'll. See it? It's getting sucked. The fire's getting sucked in. My batteries are going dead. I'm swapping batteries trying to record this. As you can see, the fire is getting sucked in. There's no smoke or anything coming out of this hole. See? I got those little chunks of wood burning now. <laughs> it's working, man. This is cool. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. The smoke? Uh, maybe 70 degrees coming out of here. Yeah, around 70, 80. It's not super clean. Um takes a little while to warm up for one thing and then also what I'm burning it has glue and stuff in it because it's pressed wood normally I'd be burning something better but I had these to get rid of and this is going to be in a shop so I'll burn up you know little scrap wood and stuff uh, the barrel is giving off some heat down here it's cold it's cold to halfway up. Here it starts to warm up. Here it's about 70, 70 or 80. Same with the top. It's about 70, 80. I get better fire going and this is going to heat up. Stovepipe is cold too. 
to go see if I can cut some more wood and throw it in here since this camera seems to be holding now for a little bit. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this, but this thing draws, man. I just lit some paper. I'm trying to get this wood started. I don't know if it's going to... I don't really have the right stuff today. If you hear that, it sounds like a freight train. Unless this little piece of paper burns up, maybe you can see the fire getting sucked in there. And again, this is just with uh, one little piece of stove pipe. It's actually tempted to take it off because it's drawn so damn hard. It's there you go. No smoke's coming out here unless I get a really good wind going and it blows back. But that won't be a problem once I have an actual chimney. You know. I think I'm going to get this wood going. I don't know how dry this stuff is. Right after I said I wasn't going to get the wood started, I moved it around a little bit and it's going. That's, that's basically wood burn. There's a little bit of paper still burned, but basically that's wood. I don't know what kind of wood it is, but... So, uh, just a little uh, piece of firewood I had in the shed from last year. A little bit wet, but it's burning. Now I finally got it going. Ooh. Now, now it's getting hot. I'm going to go and get my, uh, I have a, a laser temperature thing so we can see what temperatures we have on this barrel. Alright, I got this little uh, Black & Decker unit here. Uh, Black & Decker, it's, uh, yeah, it's a laser temperature gauge. And you can see where it's hitting with the light. So right on the cement, it is 31 degrees. And so now I've that's my reference temperature. Okay, I go to the bottom of the barrel. We've got about 60, 65 on that side. Halfway up. We've got 86, 88, uh, near the top, 110, 114, so right in there, 115 area, maybe a little hotter. Uh, on the top near the bricks here, 117, our stove pipe is 17 degrees. Here's right where it's coming out of the barrel. Right in that 60 degree range again. So basically your heat's up up here 113. Now you gotta remember on a um, thermal mass rocket stove your stovepipe would be going through the bench, capturing all your extra heat. And of course, I don't have a very big fire going because I'm. Remember, this is the first burn. I'm trying to set this uh, 
um, the seals and stuff so you're not supposed to really do a really hot fire either uh, this is only not even half full of wood right now well it's pretty small stuff one problem I am seeing right now is it wants to slide in but when I use longer chunks of wood and I have my uh, feed trough better situated then uh, that'll take care of that and it'll burn for longer of course with longer chunks of wood these are little short little dinky things um, so yeah check that temperature again on top 105 let's see if the back was warmer Well, same. Back top. Yeah, same temperature. Halfway down. smell the wood a little bit. It's burning pretty clear. It's not dark colored. Well, that's nice and warm there. That was probably 80, 90. The actual smoke coming out. Eh, maybe not. Maybe 80. Nice and warm though. Remember that pipe was out in the shed too, so that was cold. It's probably going to take time to heat up. See where we're at. 64. Oh. And it's well, I can see my breath out here. I don't know what temperature that is, but I'm guessing it's around 50. The hottest it got today was around 60. As you can see, that's snow. <laughs> so, and that's mud. It was a hell of a day today, I tell you what. It was a little different. Oh, this fire's looking pretty sweet now. Blue curling flames. I'm going to stick my hand in there to move that sticks around but I don't really want to get burnt. I don't have my poker either. Or go get that. Got some nice coals forming from that. Fire's starting to kinda of peter out now. These wood is not that great. I've tried it with my other wood stove too to heat my shed and it doesn't work that good. It's I don't know what kind of wood it is. I got free from somebody and this does not burn that well. Yeah, I think it's going to go out on me. Probably. So, since I didn't have any wood, I've just been burning up some paper I had. And, uh, must have a little bit of moisture still in the. Uh, heat stack or whatever you call it inside because I can hear it boiling kind of out steaming or something um, so I just got paper in there that's a magazine burning up anyhow I wanted to show you temperatures so 115 or so right there 160 204 uh, 215 I was up to like 260 for a little bit and chimney like 80 I had it to 110 on the chimney too Oh, 
no, there's a hundred. I don't know. Around a hundred on the chimney there. So can't wait to get this thing installed and really start using it. So I'm trying to just keep this burning right now just to get any moisture that's still in it out of it. I think I'm gonna probably quit here pretty soon, but it hasn't blown up yet. No. Yeah, the temperature is fairly high. I think I'll install it in the shed and just run it like this, you know, slow and until I get it up to where I want it. And yeah, seems to be working so far. Now we gotta get up to the real temperatures with some wood gas and see what happens, but seems to be working so far.